welcome to episode number 15 of the Soggy Kookaburra podcast. My name's Kathy. I'm coming to you from a small town in North Wales where I live with my husband, our teenage son and our three cats, Pickle, Pooka and Pumpkin. Yes, you heard that right. We now have another cat. I am steadily turning into a crazy cat lady and I have no apologies for that. Anyway, this is my little crafty spot on the internet. Um, now normally I say it's about knitting and crochet, but I have added some other crafts to that this week. So as I mentioned in my last episode, I have gotten into uh, a different craft, so I'll share that with you as well. If you are a first time viewer, welcome to the crafty train. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for putting up with my delay in posting this episode. This is a very exciting episode because as I've been talking about for the last, oh, I don't know, six months, I have finally now got the opportunity to do a giveaway with you guys. So the criteria was that we got more than 50 subscribers. We now have over 50 subscribers. Very exciting and I'll share all those details with you shortly. Anyway, so today is Sunday, the, oh, I think it's the 7th of July, I think. 6th or 7th, I can't remember. It's a Sunday anyway. Uh, it's quite warm today and we are enjoying quite nice weather for Britain. It's been quite hot actually. This weekend's not too bad, thankfully. Anyway, enough about the weather. I am uh, British and Australian, so therefore talk about the weather and also dislike talking about the weather. So let's move on. First up, completed objects. Now, I haven't got any knitted completed objects or crochet for that matter, nothing yarn related, but I did finish my first ever full size, full drill diamond painting and I'd like to share that with you. So here it is. Just excuse the washi tape around the edges. Obviously it hasn't been framed yet. I have no idea how many little diamonds there are in this, lots I think. And at night, particularly when the artificial lights hit it, it sparkles like you wouldn't believe. So it's a space scene. It will eventually be framed and put in our lounge room. I'm really, really pleased with it. Really pleased. If you haven't tried diamond painting before, it's basically a cross between, I don't know, mosaics and cross stitch maybe. You can see all these teeny tiny little plastic or resin gems. They're called drills. And it uses the DMC codes, the same as cross stitch. And I'm a cross stitcher from way back, so this was a natural progression for me. I really, really enjoyed doing this. It is so relaxing, very calm, and the cat's no better than to get involved when I'm crafting, so that's a good thing. <laughs> so yeah. There we go, that's my first one. I am actually working on the second one at the moment and I'll show you that now because I don't have any other um, finished objects. There is a matching one, so I bought it as a set of two. Now you're not gonna be able to see this as well because it's obviously only just started. So I've just started, let's see if I can peel the plastic off. There we go. You can see where I've actually started putting the drills in. So I've really only done that little square there but that is a very similar, it kind of matches, it is a different scene. You're not gonna be really able to see it, but essentially it's a, it's a night sky scene with like two little figures at the bottom. So I'm cracking on with that. And as per usual, I don't do things by halves. So since I became obsessed with this little um, hobby of mine, I have purchased a third big drill painting. Um, it's massive really massive. Um, it's about six foot long and about just under two foot wide. I will try and insert a picture of it. It is going to go, once it's finished in about 20,000 years, when it's finished it's going to go on the back of my downstairs bathroom door so that you know, it's just a beautiful scene. Um, I absolutely fell in love with it. It wasn't ridiculously expensive for all that it's massive. And I'm really looking forward to getting cracking on it. Um, although I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to manage the length of it just because it's so long and I don't have a six foot long table. We'll work it out anyway. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. 
I haven't completely neglected my yarn uh, at all, in fact. <laughs> I have been so, so busy this last month. Um, I've been away to Spain, work has been incredibly busy. Um, it's, yeah, it's just been busy. So I haven't done as much as I would like, but what I have done is, I can't remember if these socks, whether they were complete at all, one of them was complete last episode. So that's little um, Rose City Rollers is the pattern. It's wool free yarn. I'm making these for my dear friend Emma. So I've completed one. She was over and tried it on and it fits. So that's exciting. And I'm very, very nearly, I've got about 10 rows to the toe. Oops, that way. <laughs> 10 rows to the toe and then um, I'll just decrease the toe. So I'm planning on finishing that today. I'm really pleased with them. They're very cute. They're very quick compared to the normal long socks that I do. And I really love this colourway as well. It's really, really pretty. I'm just going to see if I can find the ball band for it. I probably said in the last episode what it was. But I appear to have potentially, yes, misplaced the ball band. Anyway, it's very nice. <laughs> You'll just have to trust me on that. The other crafty project that I've been working on is more socks. And I am very um, disappointed in myself because I haven't worked on these hardly at all. The only time I even worked on them a little bit was on the plane over to Malaga, which was only like a two hour flight. So, and I was talking and sleeping and yeah, didn't get that much done. This is the completed one. You've seen it a million times. It's for um, Emma's partner. I have started the cuff. So that's just going to be, you know what? I need to sit down and do that. I'm running out of months. I go over in September. So I need to get a wig along with that. So they're my two works in progress, plus my diamond painting. So that's three works in progress. As I say, I mean, I've also been doing all the other bits and pieces. I have a lot of pen pals all over the world. So I write a lot of letters and that obviously takes up time and I love it, but it does take away from the crafting time. And of course work. Imagine how much crafting I could get done if I didn't have to work. <laughs> I'm sure you're all in the same boat. Coffee. Right, so what else has been going on? Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. We got a new cat, as I kind of indicated at the top of the episode. So we have Pickle, who is seven years old. He's a Tom. Um, we have Puka, who is about four years old, and she's a black female cat. And we went to a rescue center um, about a month ago uh, with the idea that we would maybe like to get a kitten to complete our furry family. Anyway, so we picked out our kitten uh, last weekend. Yeah, last weekend. A little ginger boy. He is so beautiful. I'm going to put a photo in, hopefully, if I can work out how to put photos in. Um, he is beautiful. We've called him Pumpkin because he is the colour of pumpkins. And also because Pickle Puka Pumpkin. That's just the way I roll. I like things that sound the same. He is super, super cute. He's only been home with us a couple of days, so he's hiding out in my bedroom at the moment. Um, he's getting more confident every, every hour, really. Um, Pickle seems to have taken to him. I'm a bit worried about Miss Hissy Pants Puka because... She's a little bit feisty. Pickle's just like, meh, not bothered. Puka, less so. She's probably going to be a bit more of an issue. But slowly, surely, we will introduce them and hopefully it won't be fur flying and hissing and scratching. I'm sure it will be fine anyway. So, on to the thing that I am quite certain you are all waiting for. The giveaway! So thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I really can't tell you how much I appreciate it. It blows me away that there are more than 50 people on this planet, the vast majority of whom I don't know personally, who enjoy watching this episode, these uh, episodes enough to subscribe. So thank you very much for that. On to the giveaway. Now, as I indicated uh, the last few episodes, this is a sock knitting kit giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment down below with which yarn you would like as part of the giveaway. So the way it's going to work is I've got a full kit, the way that I knit socks anyway, 
and a choice of yarns. And you can choose your yarn because everybody's got different tastes. Not everybody likes crazy bright colors like I do. Um, so I've tried to accommodate for that. So how about I start off with the first thing you get in this giveaway is my preferred needle, a nine inch circular needle from Higher Higher. Brand new M packet. So this is what I knit all my socks on because I just can't be doing with double pointed needles. I can use them, but I prefer not to. Um, and I've never really got my head around the, the loopy magic loop one. No, this is easy. This is what works for me. I will also include a copy of my favorite vanilla sock pattern, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. And it's my go-to pattern. Um, it is the one that I learned to knit socks on. And Tina from Simply In Stitches uh, has a fantastic tutorial on that I, and I know I've mentioned her tutorial before it's absolutely brilliant um, so I will include a copy of that pattern hopefully not breaking any copyright Ravelry rules hopefully but anyway it is a free pattern on Ravelry it is my favorite favorite vanilla sock pattern and I'm sure that you will like it too so you get some needles you also get an electronic stitch counter <laughs> It goes on your thumb when you're knitting. Very handy. So you get that. You also get two stitch markers because you need two stitch markers to do socks. One, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this. Oh, there we go. One is a little glass bauble and the other is a pumpkin in celebration of the fact that we have a new cat called Pumpkin. Let me see if I can, maybe if I do that. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that. But anyway, it's two stitch markers at any rate. One is a little iridescent glass ball and the other one is a pumpkin. So you stitch markers. You also get a project bag. Now, I know that I have expounded the virtues of not spending a fortune on project bags before. Don't get me wrong. I love those handmade ones. And if you're clever enough to make a project bag, more power to you. I'm not. So I go to various shops and I buy little toiletries bags. This is the one that I have chosen, it's nice and big, for um, the giveaway. It's canvas and then it's like a PVC on the back with a nice big zipper, loads of space inside. It is pink, I tried to keep this reasonably gender neutral, but uh, if you're a fella and you win this, sorry it's pink, um, hopefully that doesn't bother you but it is a lovely, it's got a square bottom as well, which means that you can fit loads and loads of stuff in this. So that's the project bag that goes with it. And then onto the most important part of all, which is the yarn. So I've got a few different options and you can choose and you've got to tell me in the comments below which yarn you would, you would like to go with. So as I say, I've got a few different options. First up is 100 grams of this Serenity Deborah Norville yarn. This is beautiful. I knit my first ever pair of socks out using this exact brand of yarn in this exact colorway. It's beautiful. It's like heather. It, it, that's what it reminds me of, heather up in, up in the Scottish Highlands. So 100 grams of that. Now that is 50% superwash merino wool, 25% rayon made from bamboo and 25% nylon. Now I wear the first socks that I ever made a lot and they are still going strong well over 18 months later. So this is good yarn. It's incredibly soft as well. So that's the first one. So this is the, uh, what are we going to call this one? Let's see, has it got a name? Chili, apparently. This is chili. I don't know why it's called chili because it doesn't look anything like chili. But this is chili. Okay, so if you want that one, chili. Second one, another Deborah Norville, something a little bit plainer, perhaps for gentleman socks or army socks, I'm not sure. This is a really lovely, deep, sort of khaki green colour. And it is called Woodsy Green, which I think is appropriate. Again, it's the same as the um, Chili. It is 50% superwash merino, 25% bamboo and 25% nylon. And that's 100 grams, which is enough to knit a pair of socks. So that, woodsy green. Okay, so we've got chili and woodsy green. 
If you fancy something a little bit brighter, you knew there had to be West Yorkshire spinners in here somewhere. West Yorkshire spinners yarn. This is called Sour Apple. And you can see why, it's 100 grams. And uh, it is 75% wool, 25% nylon. It is superwash. You've heard me go on about West Yorkshire spinners yarn before. It wears like iron. It's absolutely lovely to knit. It's a very high twist, which means your stiff stitch definition is very, very good. So if you were looking to maybe do something a bit fancy with your pattern, maybe Hermione's Everyday Sock or something like that, um, if you're a bit more experienced, maybe this would be a great yarn for that. So this is called Sour Apple. So we've got chili, woodsy green, sour apple. We've also got another West Yorkshire Spinners, this one, self-striping yarn. Love a self-striping yarn. This one is called Pink Flamingo. Same deal as before, 75% wool, 25% nylon. It stripes up beautifully, as all West Yorkshire Spinners self-striping yarn does. Really, really lovely. It's got the most fantastic stripes. If you want to see what this looks like knitted up, just Google it because there's loads of examples of it. Um, it's really, really lovely. So this is Pink Flamingo. And something a bit plainer again. Now, if you have a wool allergy, um, a really bad wool allergy, um, usually the Deborah Norville uh, Serenity brand socks are quite good because they've got so much bamboo in it um, and less wool, so they're not scratchy. But this is wool free. So if you really have a big allergy to wool, but you still want to knit socks, this baby is the one to go for. It is so soft. Now I haven't knit socks out of this particular one, so I don't know what the wear is like, but it is 85% acrylic and 15% nylon. So I don't know, I can't speak from experience, but do you know what? I'm sure it'll be fine. The only thing that maybe, mm, I don't know, maybe it might make your feet sweat a bit. I don't know. But this is the wool free alternative. So if you absolutely cannot wear wool and you win this giveaway, that is your option. If that is the case, actually, let me know because I may have another color in this as well somewhere. I think it's like a fawn color, like a natural undyed color um, in this same wool free yarn. So if you prefer the lighter one, just let me know. So this one is called, what is this called? Um, charcoal. There you go. It's called charcoal. So that's charcoal. And then last but not least, my favorite of the bunch is this amazing, sparkly Las Vegas. We're just gonna call this Las Vegas yarn because it's only got a number, which is really dull. Um, so the Las Vegas yarn, it is all these amazing colors. It's got Stellina in it, which is that purple sparkle you can see. It's got aqua. And it's not self-striping per se, it is um, where well, you can kind of see, it kind of does waves. I think that's that one, or maybe it's that one, I'm not sure. Either way, um, it is beautiful, it is funky, it is fun. And of course you don't have to make socks out of these. You know, that that's just my, that, this is a sock giveaway. You, you can make whatever you want out of this, that's fine. I'm not gonna judge, absolutely. So just to quickly go through those colors again, we've got Las Vegas, the wool free one, which is charcoal, sour apple, West Yorkshire spinners, pink flamingo, woodsy green, and chili. So these, um, because they're two balls, they're 250 gram balls. So you get 100 grams of the yarn of your choice chili, woodsy green, pink flamingo, sour apple. Las Vegas and the wool free alternative charcoal. So there you go. What an awesome giveaway that is, even if I say so myself. So all you need to do in order to be entered into this giveaway is subscribe to my channel. Ideally hit the notification bell so you get a little notification whenever I upload about once a month and write in the comments below which yarn you would like to choose. And because um, I figure if I'm sending a package and it is open to everybody, no matter where you are in the world, um, I will also include some other little bits and pieces like a collection of flavored teas. These are ones that I have picked up all over the world. They're really cool. 
I've noticed that a lot of people who craft also drink tea. So a collection of tea and a collection of flavoured coffees as well. And chances are there'll be a few other bits and bobs in there because I just can't help myself. If I'm sending out a package, I want to fill it. <laughs> anyway, so that is the giveaway. Please pass it on to your mates, put it on Facebook, whatever you like. Let's get those subscription numbers up. And next episode, so that will be August episode, I will draw a winner and then we can go from there. So I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. I know it's been a bit of a, well, everything's going on kind of episode um, and talking of cats rather than craft, but I think the two go together quite well. Uh, but anyway, if you want to find me on Instagram, I'm not massively active, but I am there. You'll probably see as many photos of the cats as you will of my crafts. But I am there, Soggy Kookaburra. Um, we do have a rivalry group as well, but I'll be honest, it doesn't really get much activity. But hey, if you want to check it out, go for it. Um, and I am looking forward to seeing you again next month. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful month crafting. And as I say, I'll keep an eye out for all those comments. Enter to win. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye. Bye.